Song titles wise, uh, the reason why, why, as you said, we have unconventional titles is because uh, uh, we take inspiration from anything and everything around us. Like, uh, it could be the most random thing that you see around you and we can take inspiration from it. Mm. So, and that's, that's the reason why we have these uh, uh, titles is because uh, we don't hold ourselves back from, you know, choosing anything. We don't, and as you said, we don't have a typical metal image that we don't, we don't, we don't wear black t-shirts all the time. We don't, you know, have uh, like, ta you know, completely tattooed bodies or like piercings, like this typical stereotypes that you have yeah. with metal, you know. Uh, we don't we don't adhere to that. We like being ourselves, and that's what and we feel that what, that's what metal is all about. Yeah, exactly. You know, just you know, being yourself and uh, doing what the fuck you want to do, mm -hmm. not what the, the what everybody else is telling you to do, and what the the norm is in the scene. It's doing what you want to do, and that's what exa that's exactly what we, we we're doing right now. And I think that every band in the world that that has truly changed. Uh, uh, Things have reinvented themselves and have not have done things that was completely unconventional and completely uh, yes. against the current. Like from like I don't know, man, Nine Inch Nails, Radiohead, every band that's sort of set a a, a path uh, for others to follow has done that. And even it's and it's not just in music; it's in all forms of art. There's it's only the people who are completely fearless about what they want to do with that genre actually end up doing something different in it. No, exactly. do, you, do you guys have any Bollywood connection of any sort? You know, there's yes. lots of them. Lots of them. Within the band, and there's really, lots of Bollywood I'm related to uh, Shiraz Kapoor. <laughs> he, uh, I, 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 I could actually go on and on, but I'll just tell you a few. A few. Uh, Amrish Puri, our new album is actually called Hail Mugamba. Amrish Puri used to be a family friend. A proud oh. family friend. Uh, uh, Hill Mugambo, that's yeah. an album name. The new album. Yeah, that's that's album. 2012, summer 2012 is when it should be out. It's called Hill Mugambo. Uh, so, Amish Buri uh, and Asha Parekh used to be good family friends with, uh, with, with Prashant's family. Fast is uh, one of his uh, uh, good, like, you know, pals is Nana Patekar and he's like hung up with him and <laughs> chilled with him a lot and uh, yeah. got abused. <laughs> got abused. <laughs> uh, Akshay. Has uh, hung out with KK Menon, uh, who else do it? You do it, me, me. Yeah. <laughs> his, his dad also is acting like... His, his, his father is uh, is an actor and is, is in the creative arts as well as, uh, he has his business as well. But his father is in the creative arts, he's an actor, does a lot of theatre. And he's done background scores for a lot of uh, films. Uh, and films yeah. in some way. And uh, I've, I've shared stage with Tom Alto in a play. No, oh, yeah. So, like, there's, there's quite a few Bollywood connections that kind of percolate within the band. Yeah. So, uh, no it, wonder. Yeah, it, yeah. yeah we're, we're kids that grew up in Bombay, man. We're, we were born in Bombay, we grew up in Bombay. So, mm. it's quite uh, un, undeniable that the influence Bollywood has to has to seep part. in yeah. somehow. Yeah. Yeah. And as 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 he mentioned before, we are fearless to admit that we are influenced influenced by, by Bollywood. Yeah. But we have that real knack to know what's gonna become cult. Yeah, so that's what. <laughs> it's not like. <laughs> When you listen to a song, you are listening to a song. We are listening to Super Heat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who came up with the idea of the video Dum Hai To Aagya, right? That was vast. It's it was a vast. very interesting song, you know. You know, yeah. With all those b-boying, you know, yeah. of the slums. No, the whole point was that, I mean, as uh, we inscribe are a completely DIY band. Mm. So, with Confet, we did everything on our own. You want to so tell the people what DIY stands for? Uh, what do it, it yourself. yourself. Yeah. <laughs> nice one. Nice one. Uh, I know what DIY is. <laughs> 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 no, you waited for someone to say yourself because it's DIY, right? Yeah. No, that's because, you, you know, completed. It is subtext, I know, buddy. See, this is how we connect with Bollywood. <laughs> Subtext films and shit like that. It will come out in the climate. Yeah, yes. the anyway, so the point was uh, about the video. Uh, so I collaborated with uh, a friend of mine who does uh, camera work and stuff. So we found these kids in uh, Dharavi, which is like the biggest slum uh, in Asia and also in Bombay. You know, they used to go to a cyber cafe. Uh, you know, go to YouTube, go see videos of b-boying happening in like US, Europe and stuff. 
then they used to go back to, your, to their house which was like really small and practice the stuff over there so they are like raw and mm. without any teaching you know or formal guidance and uh, so they used to go and practice it at this fort where a lot of other you know like kids from other slums and like nearby places places they used to come they used to like learn new new moves get their new moves over there so it was very new for us to you know like just see that there is a culture 